Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Nerd Stop. I'm your host, Sean Cordes, the Type 1 Padawan. And I'm finally making a new book review update. As you can see, I finally got my new iMac, so hopefully soon my video editing and photo editing will get a lot better. And I plan on learning some stuff, so my thumbnails might be different, my intros and outros and everything might be different. Um, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. And um, like I said, I will update you more often been very busy with work and everything else but it does pay off sometimes so without further ado here's my book review the book is Leviathan Wakes it's by James S.A. Corey now James S.A. Corey is actually two writers um, one of them is named Daniel Abraham and the other one is named Ty Frank he's George R. R. Martin's assistant um, which is really cool I really, really enjoyed this book, and the book is based on a series called The Expanse. As you can see, this is book one, and The Expanse is actually going to be a TV show on sci-fi, which starts on December 14th this year. So I will leave a link below um, for the trailer of the new TV series. It looks really cool. Um, I look forward to it, and I'm going to continue to read these series. So. What is Leviathan Wakes, and what is the story? 600-page um, book, pretty long, awesome. It's a mixture of, like, Star Wars with kind of a space opera feel, but it's more realistic in the sense of, like, an alien. Um, definitely in space. Um, humanity has colonized most of the known planets we know, Mars, Venus, the asteroid belt, things like that. Um... And then things kind of go awry when a uh, captain by the name of Jim Holden goes out in search while well, he runs into a ship that has been considered missing or abandoned. And from there, things just get topsy-turvy. Um, another person in the book, it's based kind of like um, a Game of Thrones where you have uh, Jim Holden as one side of the story and the other side is a detective named Joseph Miller. And he's in search of this girl that has gone missing named Julia. And basically, both of their stories collide into one um, as we try to figure out why um, these different kind of like rogue ships are attacking Holden and um, how kind of the universe as we know it goes into haywire into a galactic battle. Um, and there's another story with kind of this outlying being these aliens that have sent over this kind of virus uh, phobia type deal that um, Jim Holden and Detective Miller both have to figure out. Um, I won't give away any spoilers or anything but the book was really good and the way that collided the stories together was really awesome. Definitely more less forcey like there's no extreme powers or anything like that everything's very realistic kind of a real world like in-your-face, grungy type deal. Um, definitely great story development, character development. Um, you kind of don't know what's going to happen next, and it's awesome because it's just space and battles and ships and different technology and some kind of alien life form that is a virus or disease that they don't know what to do and are trying to figure out how to stop it. Um, really awesome book, and The Expanse itself as a series I think it's five to six books long. I haven't looked, but I bought the other book right after I finished reading this. Um, definitely giving it five out of five stars. Um, if you've read the series before, please let me know. Like, let's talk about it. I really want to have more conversations about the whole story in general. Um, and if you haven't read it, please pick it up. It's it's a really good series for sci-fi kind of space opera fans, and it's very realistic. I guess in the sense that you. It could, if in the future, it could happen, I guess. So, give it, like I said, five out of five stars for none other than Leviathan Wakes um, by James S.A. Corey. Um, I'm also going to check out Crucible that James S.A. Corey has written. Um, it's a Star Wars feature, so of course I'm going to pick it up. Really liked their it, their writing and their style of writing. The book is 600 pages, but the story really moves, and you really just can't put it down. So that is my review of Leviathan Wakes. Please let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my reviews or anything else. And please connect with me because I'd love to talk to you. 
Um, until next time, I'm Sean, and I will see you all later.